WTFNN. Headline news update. Hi everyone, Basil Chapman on this Tuesday, August the 24th, and we're looking at the Dow up 85 at 35,420. 200 points away, just uh, under 200 points away from an all-time high of 35,631. This is going to be a very interesting week because look at the V-shaped pattern here. We've seen these V-shaped patterns rally to a new recovery high, then turn down a little bit, and then spike to another high. So will this be a catch-up for the Dow as... The S&P went to a new high yesterday. Hasn't made that today, but it did go yesterday. And now you've got that 4480.26 high of the August 16th, slumping down to the 4367 level just four days ago, running to a new all-time high yesterday. And that high was 4489, I think, yeah, 4489.88. Today's high is 44.89, 31, less than a point away from an all-time high. Look at the QQQ. Oh, uh, first of all, key support for the Dow now is at 35,000. Key support for the S&P will be at 44, I would put it at 44.48. Uh, and for the QQQ, which has made an all-time high, Again today, a little doji candle so far, but it's only 30 minutes into the trading day. Uh, we're looking at uh, up 54 cents at 373.78, and that is very good action. This is that alternate council. We've got an E slash C, and it suggests that there should be maybe a little bit of a pullback. There may be one more high, and then we're going to have to check to see what happens next. Let's go to the IWM, which has been playing catch up. Catch up a day in today. It's up 48 cents at 220.10. It's really stuck in this range. Let me just join another arch formation here because that's what I think we're looking at. And over a period of a week or so, we could see it back at testing the 217, 215 area. So 221 right now, or 220 actually, uh, 0.20 up 61 cents. Now we're going to go to the, uh, let's go to the gold. Gold is doing very nicely. It's up uh, four, almost five points from yesterday. It's really big move up. So this is saying that gold is participating in, in the rally. But more importantly, we're looking at areas like crude oil, which is coming off a low off the 200 period moving average. And the TLT is pulled back. Uh, sorry, yeah, pulled back so that yields are just bouncing a little bit. There's a lot to talk about as soon as I get back to the tower.